Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Long, very long time no see. It's been a month since I last uploaded a video. Um, a lot of things have happened to me. You know, like senior high school is so crazy, it's so hectic, it's so busy. And yeah, a lot of crazy things have happened to me. Last week, um, my grandmother died someone really close to my heart so that kind of made me lose motivation to film and yesterday look but it's nothing serious yesterday I got hit by a motorcycle everything's fine though it's not something that um, big so I just fell from my bike so yeah I got just minor injuries so I thought I'd share them with you so you can understand my situation right now for why I haven't been uploading. Um, so, um, yeah, today I'm gonna be filming a tutorial for this Lumiger Rumi skull, which is designed by me. Um, Halloween is almost um, is coming up, and um, yeah, thought I'd film this video for you if you wanna make it. But yeah, I do hope you guys enjoy, um, not enjoy, this is not the outro. I hope you guys understand my situation. Everything's fine. I just want to say that everything's fine. It's just that a lot of crazy things have happened to me and yeah. Um, anyways, you're here for the tutorial, not for the drama or whatever. Without further ado, let's get started to making this Lumi Gurumi skull. So... The materials that you guys are going to need to make this Lumigurumi skull are any type of hook. As usual, I'll be using my Rainbow Loom hook. You're also going to need a C-clip or a stitch marker to mark your rows. And you're going to need some bands as well. So today, I'm going to be using two colors. So for the white hair in the skull, I'm going to be using orange for that. And for the black, I'm going to use black again. So yeah, that's the materials that we guys are gonna need and without further ado, let's get started with the actual tutorial. Um, but yeah, we want to work with our orange bands first. So just grab your orange band and I'm just going to put them out of frame so that you can only focus with my hand. But yeah, don't worry you guys, I'm recovering from all the chaos that's been happening in my life. And yeah, looming is one of my therapy, so that's why I'm filming a video. And you guys are family too, me as well. So yeah, um, anyways, um, the first row is a magic ring of 5 stitches for the skull. So just grab your hook and grab your band, put it onto your hook. Then you want to twist this bottom part going to the left and then put this twisted part onto your hook like so. And then now you have two loops on your hook. You want to grab a hold of the left, the one on the left and do the same thing. Twist it to the side and put that twisted side on your hook. What you're going to do next is you want to grab another band. You grab another band and it's still orange. I'm going to tell you guys where to and when to switch black. And you just want to slide this um, three loops on your hook. We are going to call this a cap band, our cap band onto the um, band. Like so. And you want to reclaim this other end to your hook. Like so. Now you have two loops on your hook. You want to push this right one over this one on the left. Like so. And now we want to go back to our triple loop cap band. So go put your hook, slide it through that three loops or our cap band. And grab one band and slide it through the cap bands only. The cap band, the triple loop ones. Reclaim the other end. Now you have three loops and this is how it is going to be until we finish. So we are going to keep on pushing this two right, um, two right bands over this one on the left. Now let's go back to our cap band. 
one band, do the same thing. Pull through the triple loop, copy and only, reclaim the other end, and push the two right ones over the one on the left. So now you have three. So this is one, two, three, and we have to make five, so we have to make two more. And don't worry, guys, I'm going to teach you how to count the stitches if you don't know. Just keep on doing the same thing until you have five stitches. So I already have five stitches, I believe. So how you count the stitches, they are the um, teardrop shaped loops, whatever you call it. They are the teardrop shapes like this one that's going in a circular motion. So it's so if you are seeing a like a teardrop shape that's going forward or side um sidewards, that's not a stitch. So let's count how many um teardrop shaped that we have. So this is one, two, three, four, and this one on your hook is a stitch as well, so that's five. Once you have five stitches, you're just gonna get your um C clip and put it to the bands on your hook. Our next row, still in orange, is going to be an increase around, and if you do not know what an increase is, it is putting two stitches in each stitch. So this is how you do an increase. So you just want to go to your first stitch, then you grab one band, and stitch like normal, pull through the stitch only, here, the two loops, reclaim the other end, and push these two right ones over the one on the left. So now that's one, but again we have to make an increase. So if we put one, that's not an increase, right? So we have to go back to the same loop and do the same thing. And this is our increase now. And see, when we do an increase, it is putting two stitches in one stitch. Look, one, two. That's what we're going to do. We are going to stitch two in each stitch. So we are going to pull through two bands in each stitch. Um, if I'm going too quick for you guys, you can always pause the video or slow the video down. You can do that as well, anything that's convenient for you. And if you guys are hearing any background noises, I'm sorry, I apologize for that. And um, for our increases, we are going to end on the band with the C-clip on. So I'm onto the band with a C-clip on, and this is where I'm going to end my increase. Once you are done with your increases around, you're just gonna take off your C-clip and put it to the new band that's on your hook. So after this row, we should have a total of 10 stitches, so let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and the one on your hook is number 10. Our next row is a stitch and increase. So, uh, so here is our piece. So this one gets a stitch and an increase, stitch, increase, stitch, increase, stitch, increase, stitch. And this band with a C-clip on will get an increase. So let's do our stitch first. So just one. So do one. And after you are done, just go to the next stitch and do an increase or two bands in one stitch one by one and then let's do a single again so single and then two or increase and single Increase. And also, you guys, we just hit 2,000 subscribers. So, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for all who subscribed and all who've been supporting me. Thank you, guys. 2,000, that's a lot of people. Thank you guys so, so much. I love you all. I wasn't expecting to reach 2,000. That's just way too much for me. That's a lot for me already. So thank you guys so, so much for considering to subscribing to my channel. 
So I'm done with my single increase around, so I'm just going to take my C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on my hook. So after that row, we should have a total of 15 stitches. So let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and this one on your hook is number 15. So our next row is just going to be a single row around, so it's just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, all the way around. So one stitch in each. So let's do that. And after this row, we are still going to have 15 stitches. So that's 1. I'm just going to count my stitches as I go with my single stitches. So that's 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. After this row, again, we are going to end up with 15, but since I already counted it, um, I'm not going to count it again, but if you want to make sure that you have 15, then you can count. Um, our next row is... So for our next row, we are going to start adding our black bands. So I'm going to tell you guys when and where you are going to add them. So first, let's just do two single and an increase. So... Two singles, so this is one and then two. So that's two singles. Our next stitch is an increase in orange still. I'm going to tell you guys when you're going to put your black bands and where as well. So do your increase in orange first. Our next two stitches are going to be in black. So since, look, this is orange and this is a different color, what we are going to do is we are going to do a color change. And how are you going to do a color change? You just want to put your new colored bands and pull them through all the loops on your hook and stitch. And that we, are, we call that a slip stitch. It gives a cleaner finish, cleaner look to your um, creation. Just like here, you can't tell that we changed colors because it gives it a clean look. And our next stitch is going to have black as well. Black still. There. Our next three stitches will have orange. And since we are doing a different color now, we want to do a color change. So pull an orange band through all the loops on your hook. That's one. Again, we're going to do three of orange. That's two. These bands are so good at twisting. And three. Our next two stitches we'll have black on them again so do your color change first that's one black go to the next stitch and just do a normal stitch no <laughs> color switching or whatever our next stitch is going to be an increase and we are doing a color change so pull the band through everything that's one go back into the same stitch and that's your increase. And our na our last four stitches, so we have one, two, three, four, is just going to have orange in them. 
So orange until you reach your C-clock. I mean, until you reach the band of the C-clock. After that, we are gonna have 17 stitches. So let's just take our C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on our hook. So let's count if we have 17 stitches, shall we? So one, two, three, four. This one is not a stitch since it is going forward. So let's move on with this one. So this is five, six. This one's not a stitch. That's part of the slip stitch. It's going forward. So, so that's seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is the one that's on your hook. Just remember to not count the teardrop shapes that's going in a, like going forwards, just like this one, forward, another forward, another forward, another forward. Count the ones that's going in a circular motion. Our next row, we are going to um, decrease. So the pattern is single. So let's start with a single. And I'm going to tell you guys when you are going to add the black. So let's do a single in orange, decrease in orange. Oh, if you do not know how to do a decrease, and if you do not know what a decrease is, it is stitching two stitches together. So how I do my decrease is, I grab this front loop of my first stitch that I'm going to decrease on. And for the second stitch that I'm going to do a decrease on, I'm going to get the back loop. And I stitch them together. And that's a decrease in orange. Our next stitch will have a single still in orange. Our next row here, which is the black. So you see here, this there's this one which is looking like a stitch. But it's going forward, right? And if a teardrop shape is going forward, that is not a stitch. So we want to go to the teardrop shape that's going in a circular motion, just like this one. So we want to put our hook there, and we want to do a stitch in black. And don't forget your color change. Like so. Then you want to stitch in orange. So do your color change. And... We want to decrease in orange, so decrease, I mean in black, so this de decrease is going to be in black. Don't forget your color change. And stitch in orange, don't forget your color change. And stitch in black. Don't forget your color change. And for the rest, we are just going to do two single. So one. and then we are going to do a decrease in orange so for the rest we are just going to do it in orange and um, for the three stitches that's left we are just going to do a single in orange after this row, we should have 14 stitches. So let's count if we have 14 stitches. So once you're done, just take your C-clip off and put it to the new band that's on your hook. So let's count if we have 14 stitches. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And look, as you can see here, there's a lot of color changes, don't worry. Just remember that if a stitch is going forward, if a teardrop shape is going forward, that it's not a stitch. You want to 
pick the ones that's going in a circular motion. So this one's not a stitch since it's moving forward. This one's not a stitch, it's moving forward. This one's not a stitch, it's moving forward. This one's not a stitch, it's moving forward. And this one's not a stitch, it's moving forward. So our next row will be a single row around in orange. So let's do single around in orange. One. And we should have 14. Two. Three. Four. Again, if a stitch is moving forward, that's not a stitch. Go to the ones that's going in a circular motion. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. And fourteen. Take your C-clip off, put it to the band that's on your hook. So now, before we proceed, so as you can see when you look here, so this is your nose part of your skull. There's this black stitch that's not hidden. You want to go there. Kind of want to um, go in there, in, your, in that black stitch. And just grab an orange band and like do a slip knot but not a tight one and then hide the slip knot inside. That's what I did to make this have a cleaner look. So now let's proceed with our next row. I'm sorry guys for the background noises but yeah our next row will be we are going to do a decrease decrease and stitch all the way around decrease and stitch And um, if your slip knot band gets unraveled because just um, slip knot it again, like the one with the nose. So we did a single, we are going to do the decrease next. It's just basically single decrease, but decrease is just the first. That's decrease and a single decrease. A single and a decrease we, after this we should have nine stitches so take your c-clip off put it to the bins on your hook let's count if we have nine stitches so one two three four five six seven eight nine so before we move on we want to stuff it and if it, if I did not say that we are gonna need a stuffing I'm sorry we are going to need a stuffing, but only a bit. So get your stuffing. I have this much. I'm going to see. Just put it one at a time. And you do not want to overstuff this guy as well. And if your band unravels again, just take, the, take it off. Let's just do it after we stuff. So let's stuff. Not a lot.
just stuff it you do not want to overstuff it again you're just stuffing so that it has you can give your head your skull a shape I think I'm going to stop for now but again for the nose part here let's do our slip slippy nutty like so and hide this inside and look it's cleaner that way so let's proceed our next row is going to be a single row round and we are gonna have nine stitches still so we are going to do four in black we're gonna start in with four blacks so color change that's one two three and four and for the rest we are just going to do it in orange don't forget your color change and it's a total of five in orange so that's one two three four and five Take your C-clip off, put it to the bends on your hook. Now let's do one row still in, one row in orange. One row in orange. And we're gonna end up with nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine. Take your C clip off and put it to the band that's on your hook. So now let's add more stuffing. And this is the last part where we stuff. And we're gonna add a tiny bit of stuffing only, not much. just to give this jaw part shape and if your stuffing are poking out just like get them and if your silly band does it again like mine did for the nose just do it again So our last row is going to be a decrease around, but we are going to do a decrease in the inside loops only. So this is your stitch, right? So there are two sides. So this is the inside and this is the outside. For a decrease, we want to grab the inside loops of everything. Inside loops. all the way around inside loops and for your last decrease you just want to slip knot so slip knot after that you're just gonna hide this slip knot tail inside your skull And that's it, you guys. That is how you make the skull. 
I hope you were able to follow along with me. I hope I wasn't confusing. It's been a long time since I did a tutorial. Um, I hope I was understandable all throughout the, to, the parts. I hope you guys like this design. I hope you enjoyed watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye! I love you all!